Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yeah, unfortunately there was no Blu-ray hunt this week uh, as I've completely buggered my back. Uh, all I can smell at the moment is deep heat uh, and cocodamol. Yeah, uh, don't know whether it's a slip disc or sciatica, but uh, it happened at the Halloween do. I think it was just bending down too many times to put that spider on the floor and pick it up again. I think my side of my back just went and just said, I've had enough. <laughs> so I'm taking it really easy. Take it easy with Cadbury's Caramel or Whisper. Yeah, uh, unfortunately last night I really, really buggered it uh, because I tried to lift my leg a certain way and I was in agonising pain. I could like barely move about an inch without screaming the house down. So uh, today it's a lot better. Uh, it's had a good night's sleep. Um, believe it or not, I went to bed early last night, about nine o'clock, uh, because uh, I just couldn't stay up watching TV. I was just needed to go and lay down and rest it. So that's what I'm doing. So there's not going to be so much out and about for the next couple of weeks, uh, but there will be some videos from in the cinema room yes fantastic okay so let's get on with a couple of deliveries that i've had this week so let's check out this week's deliveries of course the biggie out this week is mission impossible dead reckoning yes and i decided to go ahead and order the still book I wasn't going to because I've got the uh, one to five, I believe it's the one to five 4K box set. But then I realised I got a fallout on Steelbook. So I figured, why not? Just get the Steelbook. Yeah, so uh, I don't have to worry about them matching or not matching the other ones because I never bought the other ones. But anyway, this is the one that I went for. It's the red one with the train on it. I think it looks a lot better than the other one. Although they could have done so much better with all of these designs. But anyway, let's just go through it. So there is the J card. There is all the bits and pieces on the back there. So you can have a good old read. There we go. And you can see the special features and the specifications. Specification. Okay, and it's a nice glossy finish, as you can see there. Nice and shiny, nice and red and black. Really nice design. These are actually stickers. You can actually peel them off. I haven't had a chance to peel them off yet. There is the spine title. And then we have a bit of motorcycle flying in the air action on the back. Cool. Okay, uh, and this edition actually does have three discs. Uh, I believe the Steelbook was the only way that you could get the 4K and the Blu-ray. Because uh, if you bought the standard 4K, you just got the 4K. So there's the Steelbook. There is the inside with him trying to hang on to that train. And we have, where are we? Let's put that to one side for a minute. So first disc. Uh, this is special features. Yeah, so there is a special features disc. And then we have the Blu-ray with the film and also special features. So it must be two lots of special features. And then there is the 4K disc in black. So yeah, three discs there. So I will need to check out each of those discs to see what's on them but uh, there's the still book so i'm happy with that you know it don't matter about whether or not it matches or not but at least i've got the uh, the still book of the film did watch it again the other night with papa bowman just as good as the first time round yeah lots of action fantastic right okay so let's uh, just put this into the sleeve Okay, next up, we have the Alfred Hitchcock Classics Collection. 
this is uh, well I would say volume three but they don't actually say volumes on it it just says the classics collection now I do own the other two so um which is the first one that's the first one so I have the first classics collection uh which includes uh rear window vertigo psycho and the birds now I need to see all of these films uh actually the only Alfred Hitchcock film I've ever seen all the way through is Psycho uh, and I've seen clips of the birds but I've never seen any of the other films but I thought Psycho was brilliant so there we go so that's that edition then we had the second release which is Saboteur Shadow of a Doubt The Trouble with Harry Marnie and Family Plot and I like that all these have Lots of embossing on them. Really nice. And also down the spine. Okay. And uh, the third release there. And this is, uh, uh, as I say, it doesn't say volume three. But this includes Rope, The Man Who Knew Too Much, Torn Curtain, Topaz and Frenzy. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to open this one up. Uh, we're just going to have a look inside. Uh, and we can take a look at the layout uh, I would have featured the other two box sets in uh, probably some unboxings or Blu-ray hunts. So uh, this has come from HMV. For some reason it got stuck somewhere, but it did arrive today, which is when... Is it Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. So a couple of days late. So anyway, there we go. So if I... Uh, see if I can get in on there and you can... You can kind of see a bit of embossing there there's the spine and then uh, there's the back and then all the uh, specs down there okay and then uh, it is a digi book or a digi pack rather yes yeah, a digi pack uh not not very sturdy uh i don't think the others were sturdy either but it just keeps it all nice together. This is all glossy. Uh, and this has got uh, some pictures and some special features and bonus features and bits all about the films. As you can see there, the Digipack. Um, let's have a look, see how far we can get this out. Okay, so carefully flipping door. <laughs> I need ultra wide screen. Yes. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, and there are lovely pictures behind the discs. Uh, so we have uh, the Blu-ray and the 4K discs. Uh, now let's see if I can just wrap this back together. Yeah, there we go. So it all folds out and folds back in. And then goes in there. So there we go. That is all three. And the blue way. I like how they use the different colours. So we've got the blue one. We've also got the red one and a green one. And uh, if we put them side by side. It's one of the most. Um, what's the term? Synchronised. <laughs> it's the most synchronised collection. Fantastic. Uh, and uh, I am hoping to do, at some point, I am hoping to do an Alfred Hitchcock month where I just watch nothing but the films in this series. Uh, you'll have to let me know down in the comments um, if you do prefer that or if you want me to kind of like spread it over a couple of months. I'd prefer to just watch it. Hitchcock films over the whole month but we'll see how that goes okay so on to the last one from the delivery there we go okay now I bought this recently well not recently when it first came out Violent Night this was a fantastic Christmas film this is like Die Hard for Christmas uh, John Leguizamo's in this as well it's from the producers of John Wick and it's now a staple at Christmas yes I did put it in a red case because I thought it looked good. Um, there was no 4K release for it at the time. 
but uh, like a lot of studios, you know, they want us to go out and buy these and then they want us to go out and buy the other one, the 4Ks when they eventually come out. So let's put that to one side because I have the Violent Night 4K still book box set. Yes, uh, this I can already feel that this is a really sturdy box. Um, HMV did a similar one from for this uh, with Megan. If you go back a couple of videos, you can see one of my Megan unboxings. Uh, I don't believe this one has got a lenticular, whereas Megan had a, a lenticular. Uh, but uh, you can see all the special features. Just go. <laughs> That's buggered my back. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh my God, ow, <laughs> oh dear me. Right, okay, so let's see if we can get through this without sneezing again and throwing out the other side. Right, yeah, uh, Silent Night was available on 4K uh, in three different formats, I believe. You had the standard MOA 4K, and there was the standard Steelbook, which I think was a, a Zavi exclusive. I might be wrong, but I think so. Uh, and then you had like the limited edition uh, still collector set, which is uh, what this one is. Okay, so that's really nice. Wow. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can remove this. How do we remove this? Has it got glue? It's probably got glue. Can I remove glue without buggering up the back of the box? It looks like I can. Fantastic. Right, okay, so first of all, there is the slip of paper that you get. It tells you all about the film there, shows you what you get. And all the lovely specifications. Fan bloody tastic. Okay, so, and it's just got two little bits of glue on the back there. Okay, so uh, it's a combination on this one, actually. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, so we haven't got a lenticular, uh, but we do have a really nice box set. It's kind of like velvety. It feels very velvety. Like the uh, the pitch black uh, slipcover for the Blu-ray. Uh, but you can also see we've got lots of spot gloss on the back there as well. Really nice. There's the spine. Again, spot gloss. Nice velvety. And <laughs> there's the back as well. And there's the other side. So let's uh, remove that. And uh, yeah, that's a really sturdy box. Very sturdy. I do like a sturdy box. Okay, let's have a look, see what we've got. All right, first of all, we have a really nice booklet. Uh, how many pages have we got in here? If I can see in this low light, 30, 36, I think it's about 38 pages. What's in here? Is it uh, just all behind the scenes and stuff? Yeah, it's about the characters. So characters, bit of information about the film, glossy pictures, very nice. Fantastic. So there we go. So that's a nice glossy book. Uh, we also have a poster. Double sided. So that's pretty cool. And then on the other side, we have like an action shot from the film. And I would say that's that's probably about A4 size. Well, maybe a little bit bigger than A4 size. Uh, we also have some postcards. Let me see if we can drag these postcards out. A bit bigger than postcards. So they've all got the same on the back. Same image. And they are just, yeah, just shots from the film. Excellent. So there we go. So that's those. And then we have the still book. Uh, that's a really nice still book. I was actually expecting it to be glossy. 
it's a shame it's not glossy because that could have been up for maybe steel book of the year but there we go there is the steel book so it's a matte finish but we do have the border like we used to get and we do also have embossing around violent night uh, unfortunately not around David Harbour but just around the title but when was the last time we had embossing on a steel book this is like the old play.com steel books from back in the day or entertainment the entertainment store or entertainer store whatever it was called yeah uh, there is the spine and there is the back so again really nice steel book best design on that but um, it is a shame that it's not glossy but there you go so there we go that's nice really nice and then some artwork in there or a photo <laughs> oh dear. okay and we have two different bits of uh photo artwork we have that one for the blu-ray and then we have the 4k very nice and that's the still book excellent right so let's just put this all all back in the package uh, and of course see if i can put these back in there mm. also just a heads up this uh, is the right size where it can just go in the back of, of the package so everything is all in there now and I can't get a steel book in. <laughs> Let me take the poster out. I'll put that behind, behind the book. There we go. So that is Violent Night. Uh, also, it is numbered. Uh, it is a limited edition of 1500. And as you can see there, I have 497, that is 497, isn't it? Yeah, 497 of 1500. Fantastic. So there we go. So I'm very happy with that. Really nice addition. Uh, I hope HMV carry on, you know, dishing out these really nice limited editions like this one and Megan, because uh, that's what really we really need and what the collector in us needs. Fantastic. So there we go. So that is Violent Night. And uh, we also have the Alfred Hitchcock collection there with five films. And of course, this week's big title, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Part one. Yeah, they're going to have to redo that now that they've ditched the part two logo, you know, the name. So I reckon what they'll do... Uh, next year, probably, or the, just before the next film comes out, they'll re-release this and just call it Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Get rid of the part one off all the packaging. So, yeah, we'll get another steel book and another 4K for that. That'll come. Um, and then they'll just give the new film a, uh, a new title when it comes out. But there are, there we go. That is uh, the deliveries for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I haven't bored you senseless. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Stick down in the comments what you've had delivered this week, what you've picked up. And um, as I say, there won't be a Blu-ray hunt probably maybe for a week or two or three, depending how my back goes. And um, But uh, I'll be dishing out some material from the, the cinema room here. So there may be some collection videos uh, and maybe a review or two. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.